Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 64, a full stack of episodes for FTB Interactions, uh, where today we're getting into Applied Energistics. Uh, what you may have noticed is that I just made myself a 4K storage component. How cool is that? Uh, and that can be turned into a 4K storage cell rather easily. I should probably go make that happen now. Uh, between episodes, I did a little bit of uh, logistics pipes, crafting automation stuff. Uh, cause you know, I'm trying to, you know, keep it, keep it cool, keep it cool. Uh, so what we want to do is teach this guy how to make 4k storage cells this way. Cool. And then you can import that dude and everybody's a winner. Nice. So now if I were to sort that and then say that I want a 4k and just refresh this and then say, give me one of these, that should be easy. Nice. That's cool. And everything will zip its way down here. Kind of chill, waiting for a few extra resources. Probably just waiting on another quartz glass, which I presume will make its way down shortly. Shortly-ish. Quartz glass is not terrible to make. Boop. Hooray! How cool is that? How cool is that? Gotta love it. So we've got a 4K drive. I've also got myself an ME controller. I've got an energy cell. I've got a ME drive here. Uh, we've got the 4K storage cell. Let's get a couple more 4Ks. Can I get three more? Apparently, yes. Apparently, I can. Apparently, a whole bunch of things are going to happen now. Awesome. Dude, I love logistics pipes. I love watching everything flow through the tubes. I love all of it. I bet, I bet I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. Mm, it's time to restock. Time to restock some foods. Every now and then I pop over here, and one of these days, at some point between now and the end of the series, I will get around to maybe, maybe doing better by way of food. I'm sure everybody's sick of just watching me eat morsels. But also, eh, they're, they're pretty good, them morsels. Can't complain too much. All right, I got some monster jerky. Uh, I've got most, most types of food covered, I think. Most types, uh, generally. Throw some tomatoes in there too. A little bit more vegetables. Can't hurt to have more vegetables in your diet. I haven't really been paying attention to this, right? So here's a question. Do tomatoes count as a fruit or a vegetable? <gasps> Isn't tomato technically a fruit? Or am I thinking that backwards? I'm pretty sure that's true. Tomatoes are technically fruits, aren't they? Ah, tomatoes are fruits that are considered vegetables by nutritionists. Ah, botanically, a fruit is ripened flower. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Tomatoes, plums, zucchinis, and melons are all edible fruits, but things... Uh, da, da, okay, cool, neat. So, technically, technically... I don't know, it's both. <laughs> that is a very helpful... That is a... That is extremely helpful, thanks. <laughs> Absolutely no idea is what it comes down to. Um, but anyway, things are cooking. Uh, let's consider replacing this-ish area um, today with, with, an, with an AE system, right? So we should have Spectre Coils, I believe. And it's probably going to be a while before we get to a point where we're not going to have, uh, where we're going to have too much power draw for a Spectre Coil to be able to handle our stuff, right? This was here. We don't need this no more. Is... You all remember why this was here? Because I used to fly when I used that uh, that book, and I guess he he removed that, the mod pack author. So that's good times. Hooray! Let's put away some junk. So we've got all this stuff here. Where should we put our um, ME controller? That's a good question. I don't even know. Like maybe just on the roof up here above this thing. Does that sound cool? Sure, why not? That's probably a good starting point for a controller, yeah? Does that seem like a good starting point? And then we can just boop. And I'm assuming you guys all power up, and that is cool beans right there. All right, so we've got the basics. Uh, I never did make a grid. I should probably look at what's involved in making a grid. Not a grid. Uh, there's there's presumably, whatchamacallits, yeah, these guys. Crafting interface, yeah, that's what they're called in Applied. Can you tell I've been playing refined storage a little bit? ME terminal interface. I would like the crafting from Applied. 
There you go. Crafting terminal. That's what I'm looking for. Yes. That doesn't look terrible. That doesn't look terrible. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Did I teach you? I don't think I did, right? No, no, no. Okay. So we're going to need a few stainless steel screws. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, panel, circuit, and four aluminum screws. Four aluminum screws. Now, didn't we make a panel? I thought we did. I thought we made a panel last episode. Didn't we make a panel for something? I feel like we did. I feel like we made a panel. It's probably staring me in the face. Hey, yeah, it is. <laughs> See, I told you we made a panel. I told you. And then uh, how much redstone do I need for you? Uh, one redstone. One redstone. So we'll just make this by hand, because I don't think this is the kind of thing we need to auto-craft. Right? You only ever need one of these. I mean, technically, you could have more if you really wanted to. But it's super not necessary. Cool. And then you uh, make an ME crafting terminal, please, with the rest. Four stainless steel screws. Okay. What do we got? Do I have a stainless steel rod? I do. I think that'll turn into four screws, doesn't it? Isn't it four to one screws in the lathe? I think it is. Or do I have to cutting machine you first and then lathe? I always forget. There you go. Sweet. All right, so bring in the rest of the things and that'll be good. So we'll have that ready. Um, so let's get some wiring on, huh? So I'm thinking I wouldn't mind just sticking right here. Oh wow, you have a directional this? I didn't know that, today I learned. And we'll use these, you know, good cables, because why not? Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll stick you right there and we'll put the terminal on you. Boop, boop, boop. Sweet. And then a storage drive for you. Oh, no, wrong thing. And three more storage drives. And they're relatively easy to craft. See, I've, I've said this many times about this pack. Once you get to the point where you can craft something, they are not terrible. Like these, this is what I love about this pack is it's not, you don't get to a point and say like, all right, I finally unlocked Applied Energistics. Oh, this is the most painful thing in the world. And I have to slog through these crafting recipes. It's no, I've unlocked Applied Energistics and it took me five minutes to set up an auto craft for 4K storage cells. And I had no problem knocking out four of them, right? And we can probably knock out, you know, another six without any problem. Yeah, boom. The they're not expensive. It's great. I love it. It's more about building the automation and progression than it is about tedious crafting recipes. So that's what makes for a good pack, for sure. Uh, now that said, we can start importing some stuff, right? And start clearing away these chests. So what I'd like to have is an import card, if I can, of some kind. Um, ME import bus. Yeah, that seems nifty and stuffs. Um, you need an annihilation core. We need to teach you how to make the cores and a sticky piston would not also go awry. Um, what do we have in here by way of slime balls ish? We've got some rice slime balls. All right. Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to teach you how to make, uh, sticky pistons courtesy of rice slime balls. Haha. <laughs> Welcome to the machine. Yeah. I probably never put that in my inventory. Come to think of it. Let's see, where's a rice slime ball? There you go. That'll do. Now, annihilation cores are what? Precision laser engraver with palest crystal. Oh, really? So that's not a hard recipe. How do we get palest crystals? Um, blue crystal shards? Phytogenic insulator with demon well crystal or tiny pile of gallium dust. Huh. So I uh, see. Okay. Uh, phytogenic insulator recipe using lapis dust and gallium dust. Is that really the only way to go about it? Looks like it. Looks like it. 
There's a blue crystal block from advanced rocketry, but that seems to only... I'm not sure what. I don't see it having a recipe, so there must be some other way to do it. This looks like the path. How am I for gallium? Do I have that in some way, shape, or form? Yeah, we have a lot of that. And how about lapis? I don't know that I've ever really done well with lapis. Not great, not terrible. All right, let's teach it that. Now, the problem is, is I need nine of those to make one of these. So that is the trick, right? Nine of, yeah. That's rough. It's a little bit rough. But I guess it's doable. All right, where's my, where did I put that stupid thing? I put it somewhere. Because we had to automate it, remember? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. I know we had it outside. Oh, is that where I left it? Okay, that's fine. Gonna get yelled at for that one. That is a little bit messy. But anyway, uh, Palis Blue Crystal Shard. I feel like there's gotta be a better recipe for that, right? And, uh, or no, that's the result, is Blue Crystal Shard, right? And then it's one tiny pile of gallium dust and one lapis dust. So one lapis dust. And one tiny pile of gallium dust. Cool. And then we'll come down here and teach this guy. Cool. And that'll be this. And that. It seems terrible, right? It seems like there's got to be a better way. Um, what do these things do for? Blue crystal clusters. I don't even know. Maybe you break them. That might be the better route. Maybe you break these and get a bunch of these. I don't know. We'll have to investigate. But that'll at least get us there. And then we can come down to our laser engraver with Skystone lens and be like, hey, buddy, I got something for you. Uh, that would be an Annihilation Core. Needs a Palis Crystal. Palis Crystal. Annihilation Core. Cool. And then we can have an importer. And we'll probably, you know, probably need those things. Sweet. Okay, so that's gonna cook. Um, we will probably want, are there stack upgrades in this one? I forget, I don't think so. I think we just need speed upgrades. Um, Cause that would probably be good from applied. Really? I always forget what they're called. It's one of these guys. Acceleration card, that's right. That's right, I remember now. Cool, all right, let's come back in a sec when this is all done crafting and whatnot. Hmm, do what now? Did I, did I what? Tiny pile of gallium dust and lapis dust. Yes? Do you think this is the problem? Oh, you actually need ten full buckets of water. Well, there's your problem. I think he needed ten full buckets of water, right? That is the problem. Yes, he needed ten full buckets of water. All right, well, there you go. I'm pretty sure he does the partial thing, and that'll be okay. Like, he'll send bits of, as much water as he can yet, because partial mode's on, it means I'll just send whatever I can. All right, that's fine. Back in a few. Oof, believe it or not, we're actually out of diamonds. I think we have a bunch on the space station, but I had a few diamond ores in here, so just for fun, I'm just converting a bunch. Uh, so just FYI, ran out of diamonds. See? Missing diamonds? What? Shenanigans. Don't worry, we can handle it. And then I presume, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's the standard, yeah, this, right? And then we'll probably have to starlight it, but that, that'll be alright. I don't even know, because it's been so long since I processed diamonds, like, what I need to worry about. Like, do they... What do they even do? Uh, I'll get graphite dust out of them if I so choose. Or I could just, you know, bucket them into standard diamond dust so I don't have to worry about centrifuging, which is slowish, and I should probably, at some point, really automate that whole line. Now I think I've got, yeah, there you are. So there is the autoclave. That's an HV tier. Much better. Do, do, 
do 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 do. Hooray, diamonds. All right, so now you sort. And then I wanted two of these. Cool. And then a couple of Fluix guys. Now I think for the acceleration card, do I have to use pure Fluix crystals? No, I can use two normal Fluix crystals. Cool. So I can just request for them and that should be easy peasy. Not too shabby. I do like all the automations and look, here's my last two 4K storage cells, which means we have 10 4K drives, which is awesome. And I can't wait to try out the AE2 bridge mod because I'm super curious to see how it works. I don't know how AE2 bridge will work and I'm very excited to learn. Um, I'm hoping that it's easy and that it just works and that it's simple. Uh, time will tell on that one. But first we want to import bus our stuff, right? So like, let's, and I like import busing. Like, could I just break the thing? Yes, yes. Was this super necessary? No, no, it was not. But look, boom, a lot, a lot faster to import all your junk, right? Way, way better, way better way to do things. Totally cool. And then we can clean up chest, clean up things and call it a day, all right? Cool. So I'm going to do that. Uh, well, like first I should probably look into AE, AE, AE bus, right? Before we go too hog wild on that process, we should probably look into AE2 bus, right? So let's see the AE bus mod or whatever it's called, right? This is lazy AE. Where's the integration between AE2? Uh... AE bridge, logistics bridge. I was close. I was close. Logistics bridge. Crafting manager, huh? What do you do? I don't super know you. Ooh, you're interesting. That looks very AE-ish, right? Considering all the, all the recipe. Uh, yeah, and that stuff, right? So let me look into making this and we'll be right back. Oh, look at all those quest rewards I'm getting. Sweet. Emmy controller. That's cool. And Star Metal Ore, huh? Lunar Legacy. All right, cool. I should probably put these... Did I put these outside? Did I do that yet? I thought I had a little trophy area going on. Ba -doop -ba -doop. Cool. Uh, I was poking around. Where's my Stellar Metal stuff? Did I have a thing? Was it in space? Yes. Good, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, for diploid poly lattice crystals. Uh, last time I checked, they were just sort of scorch crystals, but okay. Oh, and mob soup. Mmm, delicious. Uh, the reason I needed those diploid guys is because there is a long crafting chain to get the ME interface. Now, it looks like ME interface to ME interface is a thing. This looks way more complex, though. But you look like you work. Oh, that's... A different ME interface? Oh, storage bus. Oh, they look similar. Okay, yeah. So the ME interface is made with Skystone plate, ME conversion monitor, and energized poly lattice. The ME conversion monitor, not terrible looking. Uh, the polyethylene is needed. Skystone plate, not a big deal. Energized poly lattice isometric crystals are made in an energetic confuser. Pretty much not terrible until we look at what this is. And this guy is made uh, either through this quest, we got four of them, so yay. Or we're going to need a chemical bath or an alloy smelter. Now, Surtis Quartz Dust, not a big deal. Nether Star Lens, okay, yeah, I can only assume what the recipe for that is. We, we can probably assume what the cost of this is going to be, right? I mean, yeah, no duh. <laughs> Block a Nether Star. Okay, so we know that that's not going to happen right now. Um... Certus Quartz Seeds are your standard this thing. And then we're going to need Raw Lattice Site, which is made with a fluid extractor of a lattice-enriched egg, which also needs another star to make happen. Okay. Among a few other things. Draconic, apparently, as well. Okay, that's a thing. Um, and, or we can do a centrifuge of vitrified sand. So I'm not super clear on where that would come from because it doesn't have a recipe. 
Um, there it is down here. Okay, vitrified sand. So it looks like interfaces are out of reach for us right now. Am I missing a component that tells me that they would be in reach? I don't think so. Um, but there's a whole bunch of stuff to go on down here. That would obviously probably be our, you know, one of our next steps. But we'll figure that out. Didn't I make all these things? I thought I made most of these things. Maybe I didn't make most of these things. Wow, that's a bunch of stuff. Wireless transmission of items, you say? Neato burrito. Of course it's raining. It's always raining! I'm assuming there's a rain shield, but meh. Anyway, um... But the good news is, is that we can make that thing now because we got... We got... Diploid poly lattice crystals. So we'll make one of these so that we can make our AE bridge because the AE bridge needs an interface that needs all those things, right? So if we make an interface, then we can make the rest of the stuff. Then we'll get AE bridge and see how it works. Let me do all the crafting and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got the this thing. I've made the advancement shocking. All right, cool. So I'm going to undo all that stuff. Well, I need some of it, but we need the this guy which needs the, this guy. So we're gonna need one of these, which doesn't look terrible. Need another storage monitor, which, uh, hey, we can make. Sweet, haha, <laughs> nice. Well, that's a win. Uh, and then we got a bunch of these from a quest reward, remember? So that's nice. I should look into what's involved in making these. Restonia crystals, makes sense. Probably a similar recipe, I would imagine. Yes, redstone and tiny. Okay, cool. So when we get around to needing to make those by hand, which I'm assuming will be soon, uh, we will know how to do that, right? Uh, and then I need six sky stone plate uh, and two polyethylene ingots, right? So we've got sky stone plates. Sweet. Polyethylene... sheets. I didn't want six of them. I wanted two of them. And that way I can do this by hand, right? It's just a little bit easier. I could have like manually requested or whatever, but hey, why is there destabilized redstone in here? Somebody made a mess. That's why it was probably me. Who else would it have been? There you go. Sweet. And that, my friends, is an interface. Now I'm going to come over here and request everything else that's needed for the AE bridge, and then we can start looking at how these two mods work together. All right, there we go, AE bridge. Uh, so, I have no idea how to use this thing, but it's a quest, so that's cool. Uh, where were you? As you migrate from early game into middle and late game, it's natural to transition to applied logistics. This adapter can help bridge your two networks to allow you to access everything in your LP network, including your crafting. Uh, this creates a unified system for you to use as you migrate over. Sweet. Um, and we get a couple cells out of that. That's cool. I might hold on to them. And also, yeah, I should request, just for the sake of completing this quest, I should request one of these. Um, so that's neat. Uh, why is this program circuit in my inventory? Was this in here? It might have been in here. I can only assume that's where it came from. Uh, yeah, probably for you. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, let's see how this thing works, because I have no idea. Uh, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, assuming, assuming. Um, let's, Im let's import all this stuff here, and then what I'm gonna do is connect the AE bridge to this connector dude and see if that does anything. Or, or I could just, or I could just connect him here, maybe, and then some cabling. I'm just gonna connect it up and see what happens, because I have no idea how this thing works. So it uses a channel, AE bridge mode, smart mode. Well, I like smart. Smart's good. Well, let's see what happens if I come over to you. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Looking at you, smart mode. I might have to go Google this mod. Cause I am I do have him connected to a logistics chassis. Yes, looks looks like it's Google in time. Ah, there is a bridge pipe that I need. Um yes. Let's get that. Alright, so I think I need the bridge pipe here now. 
And I think what I do You're an unrouted pipe, right? So let's put the bridge pipe here. Like that? Oh, hello. Well, hello there. That's cool. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so everything is listed as a craft. Right? So... Right? Uh, so if we sort by... I mean, it's very weird. Right? Like gold, for example. If I do that... Do you need a crafting CPU to request? I mean, it looks like it. Because it, it treats them as crafts. Which I've seen other... I know there's been one or two other bridge mods in the past that have done this, right? So like, if I want redstone, right... It even lists how many items are available, 361 of them, okay? But it also lists it as a craft, right? So we need a crafting CPU in order for that to work. Um, I'm assuming that there is a quest that will help me out with that bit, maybe, maybe? I was hoping somebody would be like, here's a free crafting CPU, Darwolf, but apparently not. Unless I'm unless I'm missing it, which you know it wouldn't it wouldn't be it wouldn't be dire if he didn't miss something obvious like that. What is your uh, result logistics by everybody not behaving here? Or what? Why are you all of a sudden like being a derp? HV assemble one, HV assemble one. I know I played with this stuff a little bit, but why are you being a derp? Is what I want to know. This guy got all kinds of gummed up, didn't he? I don't know what his problem is, but hey, quest complete, right? So yay. Uh, you can go in here, buddy. I wonder if you're, like, smart enough to say, you know, items can go into you. Because what I'd like to have is everything just in the system. Um, so these guys are all going to get imported into here, right? That's the plan. Uh, but still, if we wanted to request things, right, like copper wire, for example... Yeah, like we've probably got one laying around somewhere in one of these things. Yeah, one copper wire, but we can still request. So the question is, would I want to do this? Now, can you see what's in there? That's actually a really good question. That's probably the more important question because I'm probably not going to work here. I'm going to work over there still. Um, so let's, you know, find something that's only in you. Marble bricks, right? Do we see marble bricks? We do see 48 marble bricks. Nice. So if I request 40 of those, I'm assuming they came from here. And now we should have eight marble bricks remaining-ish. I mean, he's requesting. You know what? He's probably confused by the fact that there's two connections there. I'm going to I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's confused by that. So let's remove this chest here. Let me relog to clear that request. And then what we'll do is we'll insert all the stuff. Right. So now you don't tell me you're still requesting. I relogged, buddy. Why you got the particles? Why you got the I'm still requesting things particles? All right, so now marble, we've got 40 requested. Yes, please, to be working. Uh, simple mode. Smart mode, simple mode. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know the difference. <laughs> Bridge pipe default route, yes. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Simple mode, smart mode. All right, why are you not requesting my marble? I would think that would be a very simple thing to say. Give me the marbles and you'd be like, yeah, no problem, Dyer, here's some marble. All right, guys, we're back. So I had to do some 
looking into this, uh, the FTB Interactions Discord definitely helped me out here. Shout out to Nola. Thank you for that. Uh, apparently you need a logistics inventory system connector. I have no idea how this thing works. I just hit the change button and I added a channel called test and then I hit select on it and now it's working. So like if we come over here and we look up marble, I can request 20 marble bricks. Now the one downside is it definitely seems like Okay, that was quick. All right, well, that's cool. Do we need more marble bricks? It, the one downside is it seems like it doesn't pull an entire stack at once. It seems like it does like a handful at a time. Oh, right, you know what? I bet, I bet I know why that might be. It might be because the marble bricks landed in here. That might be why. So let's take these out real quick and just make sure that we're actually behaving, right? So you've got 48 marble bricks. You've got 48 marble bricks. I'm gonna request 40 and real quick. Yeah, so see how it does one at a time? Eh, not a big fan of that part of it, but at least it works. At least it works. So that's kind of cool. I'm not sure why this connector piece was needed here, but without him, it wasn't working, right? Um, let me just replace you with a basic real quick, just to be sure, right? We're gonna do this on camera at least so you guys can kind of see it work. So if we came over to here, we took our marble bricks, we put them back in here, right? And then we did 40 of these. Uh, what? What? I... This... Wasn't working. <laughs> Five minutes ago. Oh my goodness. I don't understand. Literally five minutes ago, this wasn't working. Though it, it still does the one item at a time thing, which isn't my favorite, but I mean, I can, I, can, I can deal with that, right? Now, I don't know what simple mode means. I don't know what that means. There's simple mode and smart mode, and I don't know the difference. I'm assuming smart's better than simple, right? I mean, that seems, maybe it has to be next to a basic pipe. Because it was next to a chassis pipe. Maybe it got confused because it was next to a chassis pipe. That's the only difference that I made. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but then I also noticed, by the way, that this thing has a default route setting. So we want this to be default route, yes, right? Um, which will be good. And then we can probably just import everything that's in all these chests into the AE system. And that would be cool beans, right? So I guess we'll hold off on having one of these for much longer. Let me go ahead and import all my stuffs here and then we will be right back. Um, and you know what else I can do is probably tidy this up. Just to cut down on the amount of dire wire. Cool, okay. So you should be importing nice and quickly, please. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, so import all the things. Break cable. Import all the things. Break cable. That's what I'm gonna do now between episodes. And then we'll come back next time. And now that we've got the AE system up and running, we'll see how much um, of a crisis this becomes in terms of storage. Hopefully not terrible, right? Hopefully not terrible. Um, we will import what we can here, and then we'll see what kind of storage space fill up this gets. Um, you know, we'll see. For now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, poke around more with Applied Energistics slash Logistics Pipes integration. Uh, I'll probably do my best to tidy this up. Uh, but for now, take it easy.